Rage. Oh my uh, god. Are those blades? Back knives. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to season four, episode one of Korra, after all these years. We are starting our final season of Korra. It's a sad day in some ways, um, but you know what? We're really excited for what's coming forward. We are looking into other series. You can check out the polls on our community tab to vote on which ones you want to see, but we're looking at Young Justice, Teen Titans, Clone Wars, Attack on Titan, she run The Princesses of Power, and a full MCU watch through. Go check out the polls and vote for which one you would want to see. You really have that little spiel, man. Yeah, you know, I, I thought that was pretty smooth, yeah. honestly. Yeah. One take. If you want access to episodes early or to ask us the questions we answer at the ends of videos, you can subscribe to the Patreon linked in the description below. All right. Are we excited for this episode? Yeah, I think it's going to be great. All right. Let's get it. Let's go. Underheads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. After all these years, so it's been a while. I like the music. The Bob. The place of hopes, dreams, and spirit wilds. This metropolis truly has something for everyone. Visit I love the, the trees. Yeah. The for and stuff. Home for all airbenders. I wonder if they've expanded. Beautiful Avatar Korra Park, named in honor of you know who. Oh, oh. We've missed her these past three years, and we can't three wait years. to welcome her home. Get it's been three soon. years. Wow. And of course, you'll want to see our most unique. They have a statue already. I thought this was like years and years later. Here, spirits and people wow. live harmoniously together, like this old Kaja and his new pals. So it's been a while. Yes, sir, this town is truly a little mushroom friend. Yeah. Zuko. So cool. Oh, and of course, my biggest thanks goes to a son he Sato and future industry. And of course, my biggest thanks goes to a son he Sato and future industries. Asami. I love Asami, but into the modern era. Stinks! Ladies and gentlemen, the world is <laughs> Milo, entering a new look at that. age. Hold on. Drip check. Drip check. Okay. Check out the new unis. Air wow. Nation looks amazing. We've never seen an Air Master tattoo with hair. Yeah. Which well, is kind we of, have. We have. We have. When Aang got the headband and was in the, the Fire Nation. Okay. No, I mean like long hair. He had a full head of hair. Okay. What? Very clearly. That's not what I was you talking about. You said we haven't about. seen the arrow with hair and he right. had okay. hair. No, we haven't seen the arrow with like long hair and it looks yeah, different and it that's like cool different. you're right you're right soon prince wu will take his prince wu. place on the earth kingdom throne who's this guy and thanks to our earth kingdom air public city and the earth kingdom will be united like never before that's Sami. yes queen. queen you cut that ribbon <clears throat> hey there asami right great train house maybe you can give me a personal tour sometime what do you say I do like the idea of putting you on a train and sending you far, far away. Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, that's funny. I like funny Danes. Maybe I should introduce myself. I'm Prince Wu, future king. Little fruity. Yeah, <laughs> I'm aware of who you are. Don't let my reputation intimidate you. I'm still human just like everyone else. Only more human. Extra human or... What the hell? Superhuman. Superhuman. So what are you saying? Can I show you a low-key night out with a superhuman soon-to-be king? Oh, God. Prince Wu, President Raiko has some really important king stuff to talk to you about. Now? <sighs> Fine. Think over the offer. I'll be back. He's a real charmer, huh? <laughs> He's something. How can you stand being his bodyguard? Bodyguard? Well, I just wow, look at Mako. Once he's on the throne... I go back to being a detective. And that works? <laughs> I also go home and smash my head into the wall for an hour. You know, just to get the stress out. Well, that'll <laughs> work. <laughs> it's good to see you, Mako. It's been too long. Oh. Have you from Bolin lately? I haven't talked to him for a while, but he's coming in a few days for the coronation. Oh, I bet the he's with Opal. The is getting in tonight. I can't wait to see Wow. Her. It's gonna be weird having the old Kor's team getting in. Where's she been? All these years. They said she's been off for like okay. three years United doing forces stuff forces in the intro. You to Right, about that. Are we all positive that the Earth Kingdom is safe enough for me to return? I don't have to remind everyone what happened to my great aunt three years ago. Tell me how I'm supposed to be with no air. Um, little graphic there, Prince. Prince. Yikes. 
Uh, Kuvira has the Earth Kingdom pretty much stabilized. Kuvira. Pretty much. Well, the roving bandits have mostly been dispersed. Mostly? Don't worry, kid. The chances of you Who are these assassin, bandits? Are almost, zero. almost? This guy is it's so like weird. I'm not buying these stats. Yeah. Okay, wait. What do you think of Prince Wu? I don't know. I feel like objectively speaking too early to judge inclination i don't like the guy yeah or maybe i'm just like threatened because he likes asami yeah <laughs> like that's like for sure a possibility trying to hit on asami that that is just a that's red just flag definitely a way to get on no not even he's just red flag not for liking a character <laughs> montana serves perfection montana is like me or nothing honestly <laughs> or cora Exactly. Exactly. Where has Cora been? Is what Where's I'm Cora been? The fact that her friends don't know how she's been is either a really good or a really bad sign. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now we're seeing some. But the Maybe Earth these Nation, the these are the bandits. Yeah. Get out of here. We don't have anything left. Why are you here then? Damn. Probably their home. That's rude. Oh. Oh no. No. Don't have anything left. Oh my god. <laughs> you really don't have to rub it in. Yeah, geez, that's so that's just mean. Obviously evil. Yes. Oh, oh the Let's airbenders. Go. Come on. Are you kidding me? This is so dope. Uh oh my god. They're literally they have like super shoes. I'm sorry. I mean they can practically fly. Literally. They are literally flying. Yeah. This is so cool. And with those suits. Look at Kai. Oh, that's perfection. Oh my And he, goodness. of course, he softly lands. Is that Opal? Them. I think it's, it's Opal. Yeah, yeah, it totally is. Wait, wait, the wait. Kai has a new voice it. actor. So where are the rest of How you? How do you notice this? Actually, Listen how deep the voice is. two of us, but we're going to do everything we can to help. I'm Opal, and this is Kai. It's nice to meet you. What? I call Master Tenzin because my state has been under siege by bandits for months. They blocked all the roads, cut off our city. Oh, no. Lines. Wow. And all he sent is you two kids. Oh. Hey, they seem like a much bigger deal than they were insinuating. Mm. More where they came from. My citizens are going hungry. Our entire state is on the brink of collapse. Unfortunately, the Air Nation is spread thin right now. We're all you have. Yeah, there aren't that many of them. They're yeah. like everywhere. I mean, they can't cover the entire world. Exactly. CGI. We just got some good news. Two more Earth Kingdom states have agreed to join us. Oh, Excellent. he's so Thank dapper. You, We're ninety percent there, Kuvira. He's looking Who good. Who is Kuvira? <laughs> oh, Kuvira's I'm the hot sorry. guard. Remember? I, no, 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 no. I know, I know. I meant I saw. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We have our first sipping so from Kuvira counter. You know what? I'm going to say upwards. Uh, you know, I can't keep a running tally because honestly, I just don't have the time of day. But I would reckon that's that going to go upwards humiliating. of 50 this season. Oh, oh girl. Oh, boy. Down bad. <laughs> Down bad. I know. Kuvira hit the screen and my brain glitched. Yep. We just got can't win them all. Oh. Two more Earth Kingdom states have agreed to join us. Good job, Bolin. He's so Thanks handsome. We're 90% there. <sighs> She's pretty badass. That's great! Beric! <laughs> Julie, Amazing. some of that special celebration tea. Oh my gosh, Earth bending the pieces? That's so cool. None for me. I won't celebrate until the Earth is 100% reunited. Oh my god. Damn. Stop it. Just stop. What if Asami knew you were simping for somebody else? Why have I feel like Asami would be okay apologies. with it. There are rocks on the tracks. It's most likely bandits. We're sending troops to handle the situation. Call them off. I will take care of the bandits myself. All right, let's see what Kuvira's got. Okay, come on. Pull it together. Pull it together. It's been five minutes. <laughs> Like they have a chance. Is she gonna use metal or earth or a mixture? What do we think? She's probably gonna use metal. That's kind of been her training. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. She's dodging. Oh my uh, god. Are those blades? Back knives. Um. Excuse me. 
they just, I mean, they're not even being hurt. They're just being incapacitated. Holy crap! Is that magnetism? Or is she just pulling them together with the bending? Oh my god. Montana cannot even contain herself right now. Goodness gracious. Oh my god. And you're it's the like bandits who one on eighteen. Chaos. Yeah. I'm trying to establish order, aren't you? We're sorry, we didn't know this was your train. <laughs> Don't talk over me. Please, take mercy on us. Down bad. I am not going to be able to watch this season. Life. This is a good day. I'm going to give you all the opportunity to rehabilitate yourselves and become productive members of your nation. Right now, you're lost, but pledge your loyalty to me. And I'll give you a new purpose in your lives. Of course, if you don't want to join, you could always stay right here. Please, someone saves you before the next train speeds through. But I wouldn't count on it. Oh boy. No, we'll She's pretty us. ruthless. We wow. We pledge our loyalty to you, Great Uniter. Great Uniter. Is that what her titles become? Interesting. Even so early if you're just getting a haircut. What a duo. Right. Because I'm not just getting a haircut. It's a spa day. We're talking minimum four hours. Are you kidding me? What are you having <laughs> done that takes four hours? A rejuvenating tea leaf skin wrap. Have you ever gotten one of those, Mako? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not interested. I have a feeling they're gonna have some funny it's like, situation. Oh, you should come with. Yeah. You have to. Are they gonna be best buddies? Your hands a bubbly milk bath. Your feet are in a tub full of these little sucker fish that literally eat your calluses away. Gobble them right up. I love Crazy, that. Huh? That's disgusting. <laughs> then they scrape your skin with blocks of sea salt, lube you up with seaweed infused aloe, wrap you in tea leaves, put you in a hot box for four hours, and bam, you're done. Wow, quite the procedure. They must be in town for my coronation. Uh, I don't know if all those people are your fans. Yeah, seems like bad vibes. Yeah, fans. there's probably a lot of people who are revolutionaries that like Zahir's idea of no more royalty. And he's the picture of needless, like, yeah. expenses for no reason and not being about the people. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, is Mako gonna have to do some bodyguard work right here? They're really standing Ooh, out if they're out trying to be like sneaky sneaks. Pie? With pie? Go, go. They look way too official to no, be using exactly. pie. Exactly, why would you? <laughs> Guys, let's all wear matching outfits to go pie. <gasps> oh no, Mako, I've been hit! It's a gusher! That's not blood, it's strawberry pie. Yeah, like, why? Not the oh. part for that. Yeah, you're right. But that was close. I don't know what would have happened if you weren't there. You would have been hit by a pie. It's really not that big of a deal. Or I could have been killed. I don't know what I'd ever do without you. Wait a second. Did you say strawberry pie? I'm allergic to strawberries. I don't think I can breathe. Get me to the hospital. Low down. You're allergic to bee stings. Oh, right. <laughs> I always get those two mixed up. Of course, Mako what? knows. This guy's a Look, character. A train minute through. Maybe they brought food and supplies. Hey, what's Bowen's your boyfriend here. Doing? Boyfriend. He's here? Boyfriend! He must be with Kuvira and my brother. This isn't going to be good. Bowen! Kai! <laughs> wow, you are a lot heavier than you used to be. You're really growing up. What's up with your new hair? It's so like cute. a stiff. Hey, no! Kavira says it makes me look intelligent and professional. Oh Don't boy. Everything she says. I wonder if he's gotten Ooh, good at magma bending. Here too. I missed you so much. Oh. I missed you too. Oh. Look who it is. They're so cute. I love it. It's good to see you again, little sister. What a wonderful surprise. Interesting. Happy reunion for my favorite. Oh, this is the architect. How's mom doing? Like you care. She still hasn't forgiven you. You know, Whoa. for someone wow. who claims to be so enlightened, mom can really hold a grudge. 
I guess when her son betrays her. Please. What did he do? No, we're not here the to drama. Something that happened three years ago. We're here to help this town. Just like okay, you. but it was three I've years ago. I've heard how you helped mm. towns by conquering them. I know the rumors about me can be pretty nasty, but I am giving everyone in this nation a better future. And with Bolin's help and my fiance's ideas, we're laying the groundwork for the people to achieve their own greatness. Oh, they're engaged. Your fiance? Oh boy. You haven't heard. Your brother and I are getting married. He looks a lot like adult Sokka. No. Great, sweetie. I know things got heated with your oh, family. Oh no. Tar and I left Zalfu. But don't you think it's time to forgive and forget? What are you? Doing? What happened? This is so complex. Oh. I was wondering if you and I could talk privately. She's gonna try to reclaim his so, land. Mm -hmm. Have you had time to rethink my generous offer? Generous? You want to take everything? How is that generous? Governor, your state has been overrun by bandits. They have you outnumbered and outsupplied. The question's not if they'll take over, it's when. Unless you sign our deal. Agree to the terms and you'll have the full force of my army backing you. You will remain in charge, just under my supervision. I will save your life and the lives of your citizens. I think that's pretty generous. And he's just I not having it. Manipulate states and force them to join up under you. I know the only reason you want this region is because it's rich in ore. Oh, they might call wow. They a great uniter, but you're destroying everything. I'll never turn the great state of the eye over to you. Oh my goodness. You have a lot of pride, but it cannot protect your people. Your pride will not stop the hordes as your city crumbles to the ground. And your pride certainly will not feed your hungry when all that is left is rubble. Oh Holy goodness. crap. Get out of my state. You will perish unless you take my generous offer. Okay, Kuvira needs to... So I think oh she's my God. not Is she good. a villain? She might be a villain. It's time oh to go. no. We're not wanted here. What happened? It appears we can't make a deal right now. Wait, aren't you guys going to stick around and help? Here's the contract. We'll wait at the border for one day. You get the governor to sign it, and you'll have all the help you need. Yes, I gotta go. Don't! Please, you can't turn your back on these people! I'm not! I want to help, but if the governor wants us gone, there's... There's nothing I can do. Not much I'm you sorry. can do if the governor's kicking hey. them out. Oh. Opal, please. Leave if that's what you're going to do. <sighs> Sad. Yeah. We haven't seen each other in a bit, too. So that's a bummer to leave on that note. Yeah. You know, we might not need their help after all. The roads may be impassable, but not the skies. We can use Lefty to find all the nearby villages. Lefty? His name's name Lefty? You're right. Who? The bison. Oh. I think it's super cute. That they Sorry, all get to name their bison. Yeah. That's all we can spare. Every little bit helps. Because of you and the other farmers around here, we have more than enough food to feed the town until we can get some reinforcements. Thanks. Wow, beautiful cinematic shots That's here. That's gorgeous. Yeah. So, you and Bolin doing okay? I don't know. It's really tough having a long distance relationship. And I can't stand that he's working with Kuvira. I can tell, but it does seem like he found his calling, doesn't it? He loves helping people. Maybe. It's just... He does. He's changed a lot since he's been around her. He's growing hmm. up. I just hope we're not growing apart. Speaking of long-distance relationships, how are you and Janora doing? Oh, yeah! Actually, we're doing fine. You hear oh, that? shit. Long-distance relationships are hard. Oh, we're doing great. It's more bandits. As every summer. Literally. <laughs> The good one. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, that's so scary. Wait, were they airbending? Yeah. So these are rogue airbenders. Oh, I thought it was Kai and. Okay, it might have been, but yeah. it looked kind of like he was. Maybe I'm wrong. No, I think that's their defense. Okay. Whoa. That's a cool oh weapon. Oh my god. Oh no, all the supplies are gonna drop. It's just, and they're not even gonna go to anyone. Yeah. Oh, oh. no! Oh! No. 
Oh, he's gonna take off. Well, uh, well kind of flight? is that flight suit attached or? Yeah. Yeah. So he's not gonna die, but it's like. A lot of a lot. Oh, nobody oh, got no. sliced with the thing. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, girl. Opal is looking real awesome right, right? She's so good. Look at that. Uh, Clutch King. That did look like Alpha the other day. Right. <laughs> what happened? Where's all the food? We were attacked oh, no. in the air. Oh. We lost everything. It might be time to make a tough call. I wonder if Kavir is hiring the bandits to do bad things so that they're forced to join with her. That's so interesting. She seems kind of nefarious. Hmm. Here, tell Kaviri to save my people. For what it's worth, I think you made the right decision. Did I ever really have a choice? Nope. Hmm. When Cora gets here, I bet she's not even going to know who I am. Why is that? Because me will the oh. boy Right. You're completely unrecognizable. Oh, and he's got the longer hair. You've never had the tea leaf wrap? You have no idea what you're missing. The face massage alone is to die for. Ugh, this coronation cannot come soon enough. I can't wait to go back to being a detective. So why did he get assigned to this? Yeah, about that. Oh no. I don't know how to tell you this. You're going to Ba Sing Se with the prince. Oh no. my god. You've got to be kidding. It, but it's over my head. We'll personally ask Raiko. He said he doesn't know what he'd do without you. Oh this no. This can't be happening. I'm not even a nurse. He's too good at his job. I work for the Republic City Police Department. Not anymore. <laughs> You're just a pawn in Raiko's diplomatic game. Oh no. You can no. try talking to him, but I don't think he's going to let you quit. There's a Southern Water Tribe ship pulling up to the dock. Cora! Cora! Oh, so she's been home recuperating. Okay. We're gonna see Cora. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Whoa. Oh Cyborg. my goodness. This is crazy. So those are probably Varric's inventions. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh wow. So some good people work for Kavira, and Kavira just seems a little rough around the edges. Well, she's doing, like, this is a, a good thing. Yeah, she's it's just strong the army. means the of it. Of yeah. Now under the full protection of my army. That's kind of self-serving. How did she get in charge? Your loyalty, if you wish to keep your post. I pledge my loyalty to you, great uniter. Why is she in charge now? Like, what did she do to sue you? <sighs> just trying to help people he's uh, yeah dang it's a tough situation mm -hmm. distance is difficult Ton Rock, it's good to have you back in the city and everyone is excited i'm glad to Ton see Rock's Avatar still involved Ton Rock with no mean? sleeves isn't cora already here oh no we thought oh, no. she was coming with you cora left the south pole six months ago oh. she's written me letters she said she was here in Republic City. Oh, I where's she been? You, your daughter's not here. Then where is she? Are you kidding? Oh my god, where's Cora? What? 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 <gasps> New haircut. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. What are we doing? An underground fighting ring? Okay, so she's back moving again. Yeah. Holy oh crap. That was an innovative move. Oh. Is this like an illegal fighter? It seems like an underground oh, fight, but no. she just got defeated. I think Cora's probably having trouble Here, coming back. Your lackluster participation. Thanks. You mean? Know, you look very familiar. Yeah, you you kind of look like that Avatar girl. I get that a lot. So she's under anyway. So she's just pretending. Oh. Okay. Oh. Interesting no. start to 
it, the final season of Korra. Wow. Okay, so the next episode's called Korra Alone. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So uh, that was a super interesting episode. Uh, we learned a lot about like what's been going on since the last events mm -hmm. and a lot to discuss in that episode. But before we do, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below for core reaction content every Thursday and Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Although these next coming weeks, we are completing our theses, so may have to cancel a few Thursday premieres. I'm so sorry. We'll see what we can do. If school comes first and we're almost done. <laughs> Very soon, this will be our sole jobs, and we're really excited about Very that. Right. For now, where are we headed? All right, let's go to the episode verdict. Thank you for watching that episode. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe down below for core reaction content every Thursday and Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, check out the Patreon. <laughs> Also, check out the Patreon link in the description below if you want to see episodes early or ask us the questions we answer after every episode. We're about to choose three. And check out the community page to vote on which shows you want to see next. Uh, we're really excited about our future options, um, so make sure to check those out. For now, let's go to our first question. So uh, our resident, probably top like getter for questions, yeah. like many posts in a row, Mark B 92 asks, after the collapse of the Earth Kingdom social structure caused by Zaheer, do you believe Kuvir's goal of rebuilding the Earth Kingdom is noble and justified, even though she is using manipulative and aggressive tactics to achieve her goal. I understand where she's coming from. Withholding food and water to innocent people is never justified or yeah. noble ever. Yeah. Yeah, I think that, like, in certain cases, the ends justify the means. But if you're building a nation on the a foundation of strong arm forcing people to join, it's going to be bad. So I don't think it's noble or justified, but it may be necessary. That's the question. The thing about it being necessary is the idea that it's even going to work long term. Because, yeah. I mean, like, just in, in general, you can't build a successful kingdom or group of people or government, whatever you want to call it, if the foundation is built on fear. Agreed. I don't think. Yeah. So even if she is it's like, I have to do this. It's the only way to unite us and we have to be united. Sure, we need to be united, but it's not going to last and it's not genuine. Yeah, I agree. All right, let's go to our other question. All right, Sergio Flores asks, given how we left Cora at the end of last season and how we are first introduced to her this season, apparently practicing in Earth fight clubs, what do you think happened to her to cause such a dramatic shift and where do you think it will lead her character? Okay, so that's a great question. Cora has had three years since um, and she, the time frame we've been given is that she's had six months where she's been MIA and nobody mm -hmm. has had really track of her. Looks and like she she's said she was in Republic City. Yep. And she also is claiming she's not the Avatar. Yeah. She's cut her hair. Mm -hmm. Um, She's kind of fighting dirty. Not fighting dirty, but like, obviously that's she's... not like a reputable location for no, the Avatar. No, she isn't fighting dirty, but she's fighting in like underground fighting yeah. rings. Like um, that was not pro-bending. Yeah. And I, I totally agree. Um, I also think what happened to her is probably after she broke her legs and had that fight, she was obviously messed up. And I think that she probably is just trying to get back to what she was. She probably has had her hand held by a lot of the people that love her because they know what she's been through. But knowing Cora, here's what probably happened. She's refusing to address some feelings that she has and is probably trying to be like, you know what? I'm just going to beat up everybody and I'm going to get good at bending again and that'll be, that'll help. Mm -hmm. When in reality, she needs to address her deep internal problems. But I think that she's probably trying to find a coping mechanism, trying to find some sort of sense of like value beyond the state she was in. So I think she's just trying to find her way back to who she was. But what I predict is that she's going to have to kind of begin anew. I think that she's going to need to probably have some sort of therapeutic attempt at addressing the trauma she's received some sort of way. And I think that she's going to need to sort of change moving forward to adapt with the new circumstances she's under. I'm wondering what happened six months ago because she would have had to be doing okay at least for her parents to be okay with her leaving, right? Yeah. So two years and six months after after she endured this incredibly traumatic event, she was doing well enough for her family to feel she could do the trip, make the trip, be the avatar, go back to Air Temple Island, do all that stuff. Like, 
I'm wondering if it was something she was hiding. Uh. I'm wondering if it was a situation of her six months ago doing really poorly and having the realization, I need to convince them that I'm doing okay so I can get away. Mm. Or if she was genuinely okay six months ago and then something happened on either uh. her travel or right when she got there that prompted yeah. this really negative turn for her. Interesting. So I guess we're going to have to see moving mm -hmm. forward what caused this, but it, it's definitely an interesting plot point, especially with the next episode being called Cora Alone, which yeah. makes us think we're going to find out. And what by the happened. way, we're not we going to have subtitles, no, subtitles on. Subtitles. Guarantee subtitles. people are going to comment below. FYI, if you watch the subtitles, turn them off. There's a major you know, spoiler we're not for episode two. Gonna watch what episode. you watch is what we watch. We don't watch the subtitles. Anyway. But we're uh, definitely not yes. going to do it for this one. Much appreciate the concern that we're not going to get spoilers, but yep. we've got it. So, uh, Teddy Ruxpin asks, how are we doing? <laughs> um, that's very that's nice. very nice. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> it was bad for a bit there because it was just so busy. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of work getting the business established and finishing school and editing videos and just blah 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 but we're finally getting over a bit of a hump um and i don't know i'm feeling a little bit better in that way yeah definitely rough there for a bit getting through some stuff but you know getting through it yeah. graduation's coming up we have what 29 days 27 days 27 days until, until we're done well that's when my last final is my thesis is due a couple days before that i had so much work to do but guess what thesis. we're gonna get it done we're gonna, we're gonna get, get it done, done and it's gonna be fine yep. and then we can work only, only on, on this. this and not have the so cloud of school focused. in our heads oh and it, so here's and the just thing the constant stress bro oh yes and the other thing is once we graduate we're gonna be doing at least two series at once with sunday and thursday mm -hmm. series and maybe more if we get an editor mm -hmm. and that's gonna happen when we graduate but yeah. like the sky's the limit so Which we're we really graduate may 22nd yes that's that's we're, the date of our graduation we're and very excited we are off the hook yes of so higher education how are we doing we're making it through it's about to get way better real soon yeah. so uh light at the end of the tunnel yeah i think that's about it for this episode make sure to like comment subscribe down below for core reaction content every thursday and sunday at 12 p.m eastern standard time also check out the patreon link in the description below to see episodes early and ask the questions we just answered for now i think that's about it for this episode how are you feeling about the next episode i'm excited i think it's gonna be great all right let's get it let's go